Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today, as part of constellation series, we would be seeing what are the portals and personas created in constellation application and what are the landing pages and how we can manage those by adding some widgets and views and insights. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. So from App Studio, when you click on new application, you have selected a build from scratch. And uh, here you can see traditional UI and constellation. I have selected a constellation. You have to give some uh, name to the application. So if you can see here uh, whether you want framework uh, application structure or implementation application structure we can select and this is all the existing one okay now I didn't do any changes over here I have given just book your ticket application name and I'm create, clicking on create application. So you can see these are the personas that are created by Pega and uh, here you can see this is a web portal and this is a Pega API portal and uh, if you click this web portal you can see this is navigation page where you can uh, previously we used to have a menu navigation right like the, in the same lines we have this and here there are two tabs content and configuration. The, and uh, this configuration, uh, you can uh, name the web portal that you want to have. And in this, uh, you can see use application logo or if you want some custom logo, you can select any one of the thing. And display head, application header, like uh, see, this is just like this. If you have the uh, display application header, the view will be different. And these are the themes that are given by Pega, like uh, Pegasus, uh, Dark, Iris, and these are the OTB uh, themes given by Pega. And if you want to use alternate design system, like uh, you have some other design system URL, you can specify that URL, uh, or else uh, you just go with the theme over here. And if you scroll down, you can uh, have different personas as well, and you can add. Uh, the personas here like uh, who you need to uh, give the access for this and you can see this uh, application header now i have given yes and if i click preview you can see such is there as i did not uh, configure any you have the integration service that's why there is no content to display that is why it is showing like this now i'm going back to the design mode and here is it is content and if you want to add any items to the landing pages you can uh, add those as well 
and if you make any changes to this uh, navigation rule right you have to go to dev studio and see portal rule but not the navigation rule because previously we used to see navigation rule from now on uh, we have to go to portal rule only and we have to check portal rules only and uh, here uh, you have some features like disable notification disable reasons disable global search so if you disable that uh, those options won't be visible on the respective portals so this is one landing these are all landing pages so to edit each and every landing page you have to go here landing pages so this is uh, explore data this is home so if you want to add uh, some landing pages then if you click home if you click add you can see templates that these are list of templates that are available in uh, constellation for portal landing pages like list page tab page uh, one column two column three column these are all the list of uh, pages we have example if you go here help us You can see this is the template banner type on the top you can see one banner and uh, two uh, elements over here and uh, the regions that are there you can click here and add uh, what are the layouts here suppose you have you want to have one column only then you can go here for one column otherwise you, if you want to change again these are the templates that are available in pega for the landing pages in constellation so based on your need you have to select this respective template and uh, you can see here uh, once uh, we have into landing pages and we have selected whatever template we want and we can see this is of region a and b like we they have three things in a and b so what we can add in these regions like we can add widgets views and insights so these are all otb widgets that are available in pega so you can uh, see all these and you can just click on this and you can click add uh, to your region so once you launch the portal they can see all these things see case summary everything was loaded over here in the preview and suppose if you want to add uh, views views are nothing but the customized sections that we call but uh, from constellation we are calling those as views and these are insights so insights are like a OTB, uh, you know, performance related like kind of reporting kind of things. So you can select any one of these and uh, you can use them uh, on your respective portal in the respective region. And not only that, if you want to enable get next work, you can just uh, enable this. And if you want to do some configuration or uh, some visibility conditions on your widgets or views, you can just select this configure and see. This is my work list, work list of team members, work queues, and uh, email case summary. This is one of the widgets. So you can uh, choose one of the property also over here. So these are like OTB things that are available in Pega and views like these are like existing views and here you if you want to make them uh, visibility based on some condition or some when rule you can just add that when rule over here see whatever changes you do uh, if you want to see the code behind it you go to dev studio open portal and open uh, view xml of the respective portal rule then you can see all the changes that uh, we have done and if you want to remove something just you can it's just a direct delete button over here so this is the easy way of doing so here we did not go to dev studio only from actually we are able to manage all these things and in my next video i will be covering about uh, creation of case and uh, just uh, traversing through life cycle and without touching dev studio just through app studio how we can do it we'll uh, see in next video
so here you can see one persona over here and under personas you can, if you click manage this is the persona and uh, this person is mapped to this uh, web portal channel if you click this web portal again you can see the configuration of web portal and if you want to see what are the case types this uh, respect to persona is able to access you can click users and you can see the case step as i did not create any case steps but the list of case steps you can see here and these are data objects configuration sets and all and this is configuration tab where you can uh, rename the respective persona with your description and favorite author so this also we can do directly from app studio and if you save it uh, this would be reflected over there Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of course, please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.